Hi everyone, wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to access News ELA and how to start on your first assignment. So the first thing you're going to do is click on that link from the Google Classroom and it will take you here. You will see this where it's asking you to sign in to join your class. You should see the correct country here. So if I was in Colombia, I would click on it's my first time here. Once you click on it's my first time here, you will click sign in with Google. And if you're already logged into your um, CVLCCE account on your computer, make sure you click on that one and not the other personal um, Gmail account that you have associated. Otherwise, it will not link to our Google Classroom. So make sure you click on your email. And then if you haven't entered your password, enter your password and then click next. Once you do that, it will ask you to give Newzella permission or News ELA permission to access your Google Classroom and you're going to click on allow. It will also ask if you already have a News ELA account and just click on no for that one. Then you click on get started. And once you're logged in, you will see this page come up. If it doesn't show your assignments here, you can also click on assignments, which will take you uh, right back to this page. So um, the first thing you're going to do is click on the assignment. And as you can see, there are some instructions here which say read article, highlight any words you do not know in red, and complete the quiz at the end. So we will click on that article. Some things to note are that the New ZLA has a feature where it can read aloud to you. So if you'd like the read aloud, you can click on Stand that. Up. Sesame Street tackles racism in TV special. And it also highlights. Adapted by it also highlights as it reads aloud if you did if you didn't notice that. Um, so once you've read the entire article, you make sure that you highlight any words that come up were, that were unfamiliar. So let's say that I found the word um, racism and I wasn't a hundred percent sure what that meant. I would click on the red right here and that's how you would highlight. Uh, later, we will probably be asking for you to annotate the article. And the way you would do that is just by writing a note here. So um, whatever your message would be, you could type right here and then click save. And then your annotation would show on your article and at, your teachers would be able to access this to see your annotations, which is very important. So once you've read the entire article and highlighted any words you did not know in red, you click on activities. And while it did say write, uh, complete the quiz, I didn't ask you to complete the writing portion for this one. So um, that will come at a later time. But if always make sure you read the instructions um, and then you will be able to see if you have to do both or just one of them. So um, we can skip the writing portion for now, but always double check your instructions. And if I ask you to write a response to a question, it will be right here on this section and you just begin typing and then you would be able to submit the response at the end. So I did ask for you to complete the quiz. So you would click on quiz and you read the question and then answer just by clicking on one of the options and clicking next. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I'm logged into one of my students' accounts. So um, I want to make sure she has the opportunity to complete. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about how to log on to News ELA, please be sure to reach out to your teacher and we would love to help. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.